Hello and welcome to the TechBits YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to be looking at how we can execute contents within a SQL file and execute them within the psql command line. That said, let's get started. So I'm going to again switch to my Postgres account, authenticate, and I'm going to type in psql-l to list all the databases that I have. I'm going to be creating one called students. So I'm going to leverage psql and tell it to create a database named students. That was successful. So if we list the databases, we should see it available now. And there we are. It is available. So what do we want to do? I want to be able to insert or add data into the database students, a table and some content. Which content? I have here a file called table SQL. Let's list its content. What it's going to execute is create a table named students with a serial as a primary key, an ID, a name, it cannot be null, and its text, age, email, and the timestamp in which it was created. Just three rows, but that's more than enough to help us create our example database and table here. So now that we have that available, let's execute psql, indicate that we want this script to be executed within the student's database. And most importantly, I'm going to execute the content that's in a SQL file and do performing all those statements within that database. Let's see what happens. It tells us that we received the result as it created a table and it inserted three records. So let's go ahead and see that if that statement is accurate. We're connecting to the student's database. I'm going to list the tables that are available and we do have a student's table available. Let's select from it. And we have been successful at inserting data, creating a database, all within the psql command line. Nice. Well, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.